Now the goal with having a multi-layered hand would be pretty much the same as with the eyes and the mouth, meaning that I want to be able to have access to drawing substitution and be able to select from a variety of pre-made uh, pre drawings, but I also want to have the possibility of animating certain features of these uh, drawing layers. Um, so what do we have in our hand at the moment? We have the uh, line art and the fingers over on the line. We have the color of the hand over in our color art. We have nothing in the underlay and then in the overlay we have a little patch so that our fingers show up uh, on top of our hand. So that doesn't give us much room to work since we already have the uh, merge system over on the line art and the color art. So we're going to have to make a few tweaks to our drawing and to our system. So what I'm going to do first is start separating the different fingers. I'm going to get rid of what is in my overlay for now. So I'm going to go into my line art. I'm going to come and copy my two front fingers and I'm going to come and paste them in the overlay. So I'm going to have two fingers here in the overlay. My character actually has four fingers. So I'm going to come over to the line art. I'm going to get this finger going to copy it, going to come over to my underlay. So we're going to have to uh, add a little bit of art here to complete our fingers because obviously if they're going to be moving around you want to be able to see the entire thing. So I'm going to just real quick create a little something from that. Try to keep it as close as possible to our drawing. You can add more points. And I'm going to come and fix the ends of my line here. I'm going to adjust a little bit and maybe add a bit of thickness, just like that. And I'm going to create a second one for the fourth finger that I don't see. Now I just want to make sure that I'm going to position it in a position where it actually makes sense. These fingers are a little bit, so maybe I'll just shrink them just a bit. Just like that. So now I have my two fingers. I have two on top here. So what I'm going to do is separate these different layers at the moment. So I have four fingers. I'm going to create four different layers. So here I'm going to copy and paste four different layers from my hand. Um, you want to rename these finger one, finger two, finger three, and finger four for all four of our fingers. Once that is done, you can line them up and create a peg for each of them using control P or control shift P for all of them at the same time. And after that, I don't necessarily want to go and connect all four of those fingers directly to my hand. So I'm going to create a peg that uses both the hand and the fingers combined together. That way, if I want to do a bit of stretch and squash on my hand layer only, I can certainly do so without affecting anything else. And let's connect these all together. And I'm going to copy and paste my hand module right here, my hand node, so that it can transfer the pivot point over to the full hand. And if you don't want to get mixed up between uh, the connections that we currently have for the forearm and the arm, you can create a new composite for the hand. So I'm going to come and connect this here instead. I'm going to rename this hand comp, hand front comp, let's not forget. 
And let's make this as pass through. And we're going to come and connect our different fingers. So right now for this hand, I have two fingers at the front and two fingers in the back. So I'm going to connect finger one and finger two above my hand. And I'm going to connect finger three and four under my hand. So right now everything is showing because obviously all of my layers aren't filtered through these connections. So in the next video we will see how to separate those different drawing layers so that they don't display all of the art and that they can move on their own.